in the previous lecture, we talked about comparing the femboy to um, a spring, and that um, by by pulling the spring out, we can model the behavior its um, of its motion by uh, cosine and sine, the first two trigonometric functions, and thus we can sort of model the decisions that that um, that femboy can make um, in a certain time interval. It's the same thing, right? Is an equation of a spring, which is which I defined to be x double dot plus beta squared x uh, plus gamma x what is dot n of x equals f of t. Where FP is some medium that keeps the spring going forward, backward, and forward. So, therefore, that keeps the femboy deciding back and forth from being a guy and being a girl, right? So, yeah, we used this and we talked about this equation and we also talked about applying the standard quantum trap condition uh, in the, in this, into the study. And thus, it simplifies really nicely. Uh, it simplifies nicely. It's in the previous video. I suggest you guys check that out before proceeding with this. I suggest you guys go over the entire thing before actually doing this and study a bit of femboyology. Watch some of the videos in femboyology, especially the quantum mechanics episodes, because those guys are where I discuss the standard quantum trap configuration, which is a very important thing in our curriculum and the study of femboys mathematically. So with that today we're going to be discussed about we're going to discuss about we're going to discuss about undamped vibrations so turn your books if you have the reference material elementary differential equations by earl de Ringel and two brothers by the name of Mediet, turn your pages to page 167 section 10.2 undamped vibrations and let's investigate so I already established in the previous video that if we have a gamma that's zero, that means it's an it's a force that that means that our spring is in some medium without any air resistance or any resistance to spring that will make it or cause it to lose energy. So in this case, we considered um in the previous in the previous lecture, we considered the equation x dot plus v squared x dot equals f of t. You can consider that because it's on down. And in this video, of course, we're going to discuss that we, I only did an overview of the spring and, and stuff like that. So you guys should already know about the experiments for um, experiments for unit decision. Right? Yes, experiments per unit decision, c over c. And so we just set v squared in the previous one, we just set beta squared equal to kg over w. But since but since um we are using and employing the standard quantum trap condition, um it's it's just pretty it's it's not exactly this. It's not our let's just check out the previous video. Um be able to understand it. All right. So undamped vibrations, we set, in this case, we set gamma to zero in our previous discussion. And as I said, it becomes, the differential equation becomes x double dot plus beta squared x equals f of t. And so from there, v squared is equal to kg over w. W is the weight of the bob. Yeah, basically. And KG, K is the displacement, and G is the is the gravitational force. This for a while. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. G has two of them. Displacement times gravity over the weight. And 
feel free to comment in the section in the comment section below whether I've done a, a mistake or not or an error. I'm really open to any suggestions and corrections. Um, and I can sort of make a follow-up video, a point one point two video or ten point one or whatever it is or our third lecture that's discussing a cor the correction, right? So okay. So now we are, we are the no. So we know we we can assign a complementary function to our differential equation. So we know that x double dot we know our differential function. X double dot plus beta squared x is equal to f of z. Our complementary function. We know that we know that the two, first two trigonometric functions sine and cosine satisfy the equation x double dot plus beta squared x equals zero. The first two trigonometric functions sine and cosine satisfy this equation and thus we have arrived with our answer that is x is equal to c sub sine beta squared, beta t plus c sub 2 um, cosine beta d. So we've arrived at this solution to the system, and you can check that for yourself. It's actually that. I'm not going to do the checking here. I'm, I'm going to assume that you guys already know this, or you guys already um, have already confirmed it yourselves. So just as like a sort of exercise. We know that individually, these two composes are separate answers and that the Ronskian is non-zero. When we say that the Ronskian of these guys are non-zero, as said in the previous video, these two, or their sum, is a solution to this system, or to this differential equation, rather. And so, now f of t, f of t can be some other function. It can be any function of t. It can be t squared. It can be t 1 over t, 1 over t. It can be e to the t, e to the i t, which is basically just the cis function of t, which is cosine t plus i sine t. It can be any of any function you can think of, even sine and cosine. In fact, if you guys have studied differential equations or the end of calculus, you guys should already have a handful of experience when it comes to evaluating um, this equation with sine and cosine at the other side of the equation. So let's investigate the case where in the oscillation or the medium that causes the femboy to continue deciding between male and female is the function a omega t, where omega is a constant and a as well. So we're going to consider, so I'm just going to rewrite that plus beta squared x plus f of t. And we need to, let's consider f of t equals a sine omega t. This is not double, this is omega. Okay, let's, let's assume that this. Now, um, the case, I must state that omega is not equal to, to beta, right? It's an important thing to state. And that the case beta is equal to omega leads to resonance, which is our, which is going to be our next lesson, not this lesson that they were discussing about on that um, vibration. So if this is equal to this, it it leads to the spring or the femboy continually going back and forth, but still, it's it sort of resonates, right? It goes, it's sort of like a wave, a ripple through water, it's up and down, and it, it sort of dies down, but it sort of still goes on, right? So it has a certain period, something like this, and then it dies down, and then it goes back again, and then dies down again, and then repeats, the period repeats, something like that. That's what resonance looks like. But it's in, I'm going to discuss that in a different video or in the next lecture. So the differential equation for our motion is W over G X double dot plus KX equals W over G A sine 
omega t. And let's set both of these guys to one to get to get x dot r. Let's just follow the course of the moon, shall we? Um, so there we can rewrite it into this equation, right? Okay, we'll rewrite it into x double dot plus beta squared x equals a sine omega c. Okay. Now, with introduction of beta beta squared, or no beta square, beta squared equals kg over w. Uh, let's assume let's assume that at some time zero x the function x of zero is equal to some initial value of zero if t equals zero at t equals zero and that x x dot evaluated at zero x dot evaluated at zero gives us some initial value b you guys probably get start to get an idea of what we're talking about here because b denotes velocity right we denotes velocity and size b and so velocity in our language is the confidence, the rate of change of the decisions with respect to time. So it's pretty neat. And so now a particular solution of this equation over here is x is equal to e sine omega t. I'd like to confirm it, but we don't have enough time. I'll just leave it to you guys as an exercise. And so we can obtain e by direct substitution into this equation. So we just have it. We sort of, it sort of converts to minus e uh, omega squared sine omega t uh, plus beta squared e sine w um, omega t uh, sine omega t equals a sine omega t. And so we obtain the thing for e here to be e is equal to a over b squared minus omega squared. Where b, omega, and a are all constants given. Um, and so now our general solution. Now notice that these guys, this and um, and some other solutions, namely cosine and e with um well this we substitute this here and then just this itself but replacing e with c sub one if we examine the ronsky on of these functions it's non-zero so therefore these guys are linearly dependent and that their sums are solutions to three so in sine omega t F of t is equal to a sine omega t. There. So therefore, since they're linearly independent, our general solution to this to the problem is x of t is equal to c sub one sine of beta t plus c sub t cosine beta t plus a over beta squared minus omega squared sine omega t. That's our general solution. With the derivative x dot is equal to c sub 1 beta cosine beta t uh, minus c sub 2 beta sine beta t plus a omega over b squared minus omega squared cosine omega t. Oh no, cosine. Yeah, cosine. 